PLC Network here with another unboxing. This time we have something special. This is the Little Dot MK2 tube driven headphone amplifier. And we've actually used this in the past with some of our tests that we've done on headphones. And the whole point of this is to be able to drive some of those headphones that have a little bit more of a special need to them. You know, not like your typical Best Buy models from JBL and Sony and things like that. Although Sony does make some models, but what we're focusing on is some of the headphones we've covered in the past from companies like Biodynamic, Bowers and Wilkins, B&O, and and all of these great brands of headphones that have or require a little bit more umph at least to drive them with, you know. On average, your your basic headphone that you buy in the store will be anywhere between like 16 and 32 ohms for impedance. However, once you get into some of the higher end models or reference style, uh, great for just reference listening, uh, mixing and studio performance and, uh, and live production. Um, and then you have audiophile, uh, solutions and some of these range into like 80 and 150, 300, 600 ohms and when you get to this point you need something powerful to drive them with. Without that you're not going to get nearly as much range or volume out of those headphones and you're going to think to yourself something's wrong. Maybe I got my hands on a bad pair of headphones but with this this solves that. And again, I, like I've said, we've used this in the past uh, to test many different models that we've gotten in. And uh, we just happened to get our hands on another one. And we figured, well, I don't think we did an unboxing last time. So let's do it now. Let's show you what it looks like when you get one of these in the mail. So one of the first things you're met with when you open the box is a little document that talks about how to use your new amplifier and what each of the tubes are. It shows you what types of tubes that are in it. You have uh, two larger ones, which are six N6 tubes. Those are actually your uh, power tubes. And then you have your two smaller ones in the front, which are uh, 6J1 forward slash EF92 tubes. It, trust me, it gets much worse than that. There's a lot of different models to choose from, but we're not going to go into that today. And those those front ones are your, your driving tubes or your driver tubes. So you got power tubes in the back, big ones, you got small little driver tubes in the front. And you know, this this basically just tells you what tubes they're using. So you can get a, a feel for what you're starting off with in stock. And you're able to customize that later on down the road if you choose to get your hands on something else and play with some of the ranges you can get out of this amplifier. And it tells you about your outputs and everything else. And it's pretty simple, actually. You also get this little card, which was inside of the instructions. And this just has some, I guess, registration information on there. Unfortunately, it's all in Chinese. So it's unless you're really good at translating, you're not going to do much with that. But I can only guess it's a registration card to register the product with. We have a cable that they throw in here. It's also lots of Chinese on here. Uh, this is from Cho Seal, and this is a RCA to RCA typical cable with gold plated tips. And it looks like we also have a 3.5 millimeter to quarter inch adapter for headphones that don't come with their own quarter inch adapter. You have a typical power cable, which is uh, an IEC cable, which means it's your typical plug that you find in just about every electronic device that requires a universal plug. A lot of people like to call it. So computers and speakers and all sorts of stuff. Now when you're getting the, the actual amplifier out of here, you want to be super careful with this because there are glass tubes in here. They're bulbs pretty much. And you don't want them to fall out in case they're not perfectly secured. You don't want to break them. You don't really want to bounce them around any. And this is the amplifier itself. It has a lot of weight to it. It's really Really nice. You have your tubes here, which just as I thought, they weren't perfectly in their little holes. And uh, they're taped into place. Unfortunately, by doing that, there's a lot of residue that's on the tubes. So you're gonna wanna remove some of that. Be very careful about that. And don't get a lot of the oils in, from your skin on here. You're gonna wanna handle these carefully. But you got your four tubes. Like I said, you have your two front ones, which you're gonna insert into these slots right here. Uh, these are your driver tubes. And then you have your two larger tubes which go into the rear slots right here. Uh, these are your power tubes. And this is what helps drive or, or at least get you some of the sound that's coming out of your headphones. And you can mix and match these with other brands. Like I was saying, there's a whole huge selection of all sorts of tubes you can get online from various different companies, from various different countries. And each one performs differently. Some of them might give you, uh, like these are your stock ones. They're coming from China. It's hard to say if they, they're actually Chinese made or if they're, they got these from somewhere else. Um, I can't remember what their stock ones were. 
but you know some of them you might find in certain headphones you might experience some distortion on your your higher frequencies or your lower frequencies or you might it might sound perfect you know maybe it's smooth maybe it's flat maybe it's warm maybe it's you know it it all depends on the tubes that you insert into here and the type of headphones you plug in there as well and you can mix and match to try to figure out what suits you best what really works best for your ears and you can go online and find all sorts of different things you know some of these tubes can range for a pair of them for like 20 bucks all the way up to 100 bucks or more so that all depends on what your ears are looking for and of course what you're matching what you're pairing to the amp in terms of headphones if you're pairing a hundred dollar pair of headphones you're probably not going to want to put much to this but if you got a fifteen hundred dollar pair of headphones you're probably going to want to put something crazy and not just the stock tubes the rear side of the amplifier uh, has all your inputs and outputs, pretty much except for the headphone jack. And uh, you really only have one in, one in and one out. This is your RCA. So this is so it's a preamp, you know, it's in line. You got something, you know, going to your amplifiers. Uh, uh, you let it be a record player or anything else you want to drive this with, a computer. And then you have your output, which you can continue it on to a stereo system or whatnot. And that way, you know, if you want to be able to listen to headphones, instead of using your stereo's headphone jack, which may not be able to drive some of these headphones, in most cases they usually won't, unless you're really buying something neat. You have this option to put in line to be able to listen to with headphones and solve that solution with. On the back is where your D plug goes into, your universal plug and or IEC cable for the proper term. And then you have a switch on the back to turn it on and off. Like I said, really simple. That's why the instructions are pretty short, straight to the point. On the top, obviously you have your four inputs for the tubes where they're gonna slide into. And they literally do just slide right into. And when you're ready to remove them, let's say you're gonna replace them or upgrade them, you just give, give them a slight wiggle, nothing too much, and just pull up on it and they'll slide right out. The front side of the, the amplifier has just two options. You have your headphone jack. So this is where you're gonna actually be plugging your headphones in and then your volume. That's it, it's an amplifier. It's really simple. Uh, all of your inputs and outputs are gold plated. They're uh, unbalanced outputs. Now there's some additional customization that you can perform on this amplifier depending on your personal preferences and how brave you are at diving deeper into that kind of realm of things. But uh, to be able to do this first before anything, you always wanna remove the tubes from the amplifier. And when you turn it upside down, you can remove the screws and remove the plate from the amplifier, which is gonna allow you to access into the inside where the circuit board is. And there's going to be some various different features to choose from, including dip switches and jumpers that are on pins. And these control various different elements to it in terms of uh, mostly like DB range and things like that and turning things on and off. And each different tube or, or different styles of tubes, different companies, uh, different models, they require different things or they perform differently in, on, in different modes. And some of these you're gonna want options completely off, some options on, you want a plus three, plus six, whatever boost in your decibel range. You can do some of that by going into the unit and actually adjusting some of those, those jumpers and those dip switches. So that's it, this is the Little Dot MK2 tube driven headphone amplifier and it's one of our favorites. It's from China. Uh, but you'll be surprised what this bad boy can actually do. It's relatively affordable. It's within about a hundred, hundred and fifty dollar range, usually, uh, depending on if you get it on sale or not. Uh, so it's not bad. And we'll have links and everything in the description of the video. We'll possibly even do a review, I believe, on this. And if so, we'll have a link for that as well below in the video description. But we'll definitely show or provide you with a link to the unit itself. So check out the description below. Check us out on plcnetwork.net as well, where we have all sorts of different stories covering things just like this and or headphones and everything else. There's a subscription button below definitely be sure to click on that because we'd love for you to follow us we got many more videos to come and the comment section below where we can hear from you when you want to share your opinions because we love that so again plcnetwork.net and as always we thank you for watching and we'll catch you next time if you want to stay on top of all the latest and greatest and or at least the gadgets we cover remember to subscribe right here subscription button click it you're gonna want to there's lots of videos, interviews, previews, all sorts of stuff. Button. Click it.